In this video, we're gonna show you how easy it is to set up these smart LED strip lights from Amazon. You can use this remote control that comes with them or they're Bluetooth compatible, so you can download the app to control them with your phone. They come with everything you need so you're ready to go and for less than 20 bucks, these lights completely transform this room. In the previous two episodes of this extreme bedroom makeover, we talked about these lights and how they're gonna elevate the whole fill in this room. So let's get into it. Comes with a little instruction booklet, your remote, and then of course the lights. You can add one more set of lights onto this if you need. For our room, we just need this one roll, so it should be fine. And then once you get installing your lights, if you need to trim it, just make sure to trim with scissors in between this area. And they're easily installed just with this 3M tape. So before we install, we're going to just plug them in, test them that they work. Okay. It does suggest unwinding it so you can see that the whole roll is working, but you can see pretty well through here. So I'm gonna call that good. And then just make sure all these colors work. This um, set of lights is pretty cool too because it is Bluetooth compatible and you can sync it to your music so they can dance. So my little guy's pretty excited about that. The first thing you'll want to do is measure the space you're putting them in. Now Steph wanted it to go around the entire room, which was about 45 feet, so she ordered 50 feet of lights. Next, you'll want to clean the wall surface where you'll be putting them. Just use a wet cloth or a degreaser to make sure that that adhesive will stick. So we know not everyone will have this, but in our case, I wanted to hide the LED lights, so we installed a simple trim around the room with cove molding. But even if you don't do this, setting these up without the trim is exactly the same. So we're gonna jump right into installing these lights, but if you wanna see how simple it is to install the trim, just stick around and we'll get to that a little bit later in the video. Because I wanted to hide the light strip, we're gonna start installing them along the edge of the window. This way we can hide the vertical section behind the curtains once they're up. So I started by plugging in the adapter and went right up the wall above the outlet, keeping it parallel to the window. It's super easy to do, just peel off some of the adhesive backing and press it onto the wall. At this point, I didn't press them into place too hard, just in case I needed to make any adjustments. Once I got to the top of the molding, my plan was to run them to the right and go all the way around the room. I hadn't really thought this part through, so I wasn't quite sure the best way to turn the lights the 90 degrees while keeping the strip flat. So I made a small fold in the strip and started putting the lights down in that direction. So to get up along the edge, I have it stuck down and then I'm going to start running it this way. So I'm going to just fold the tape once it's stuck down and then start running this way. So now I'm gonna just pull up that adhesive. So stick it down straight back first. Then I'm gonna just fold it so I can keep going that way. Coming to the corner, we're gonna do the same thing we did coming up over the ledge the first time. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of excess here. I'm gonna get it installed up into the corner. Then we're gonna just kind of pinch it again and put it down. After the fact, now I know that you can buy a pack of right angle corner connectors for this very purpose. It looks like they're pretty easy to use. You'll just trim the strip at the cut mark and slide it into the connector. Just make sure you're matching the RGB marks on the strip to the marks on the connector or the lights won't power on. Then you fold the connector cover down and you're ready to set them up. I'm sure the connectors are a better way of handling the corners than we did, but who knows, maybe I damaged the strip and they'll break on me, but for now, they're working just fine. 
So you're just gonna continue to pull off the adhesive backing and press the lights into place. It took us less than 30 minutes to go around the entire room and it was super easy to do. We're getting to our starting point and could this not have been more perfect, you guys? This is where I'm supposed to cut it. So I'm going to turn the lights off, just use some scissors to cut it and stick the rest down. Okay, and last I'm going to just peel off this adhesive backing, put it on this and stick it to the wall. To give this room a more finished look, we also added some simple craftsman molding around the window. I did have to slide the light strip over just a little to install the molding, so keep that in mind if you plan to add trim to your window as well. It would be better to get that up before setting up the lights. So in my case, it was a good thing I didn't press them into place too hard. But they do look pretty cool. I like that the molding also acts a little bit like a diffuser, so you're not seeing each individual light. You can see the difference from the stark light shining off this vertical strip running up the wall versus the rest of the lights hidden by the molding. It just kind of softens the look a little bit. And the curtains do just what I wanted them to do and hides that vertical strip just perfectly. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know they were there. Okay, bud, you ready to check out your room? Yeah. All right, let's go. What? What What do you think? Huh? What is this? What is this sorcery? It, it's amazing. I, I love it, Mom. I'm so glad. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Are you going to want to put these up in a room in your home? Keep watching if you want to see how to install the cove molding. And be sure to watch the next episode of the Bedroom Makeover. We're going to transform the look of these rustic shelves and share our tips on staining wood. In episode two, we painted the room and now we're gonna install a simple strip of cove molding around the room where the black and white paint meet. The first thing we're gonna do is use a stud finder to mark all the studs in the room. Then we placed a piece of painter's tape on each mark. Fun fact, the width of painter's tape is about the same as a stud, so it works perfectly. Then we measured down about 14 inches from the ceiling in each corner and used a chalk line to give us a nice level line to work with. Now you can measure the wall and cut the first piece of molding to size. We're using the chop saw on a 45 degree angle, but if you don't have access to power tools, you can also cut it with some miter shears. You can get them on Amazon for as low as 10 bucks. Next you'll want to dry fit the molding to make sure it fits, then secure it into place with two inch brads. Since the molding is pliable, we're securing it at each stud so we can maintain that nice level line. Once that piece is secured to the wall, you can take measurements for the next wall and repeat these steps. It does help to have another set of hands with this project, but if no one's willing to help out, you could use painter's tape to hold it into place as you secure it with the brad nailer. After all the cove molding has been installed, Fill in the nail holes with a little bit of putty and caulk the seams in the corners and underneath the molding. You won't need to worry about the top edge because it's so high up nobody will ever see it. 
Then you'll lightly sand the putty once dry and wipe the dust away with a damp cloth. Now do a little touch up with paint to get that nice finished look. It took two coats to completely cover the spots with black. And here we have the finished look. So what do you think? Let us know down in the comments if this is a project you think you could do. It really wasn't that hard. I know power tools can be intimidating, but with those miter shears, you could definitely do this. hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a few helpful tips to put up LED lights as easy as possible. Hit that like button and be sure to tap that notification bell so you're the first one to know when our new videos come out and you don't miss an episode of this Extreme Bedroom Makeover. If you've missed any episodes, you can watch them by tapping the link on your screen or down in the description below. You might also like to watch any of the extreme room makeovers we've completed in the previous One Room Challenges. Again, just tap the link on your screen or in the description box below. In each of these design plans, we share simple and creative ways to transform any space on a minimal budget. You're sure to find several ways you can update your home with a timeless look. Up next, we're going to share our tips on staining wood as we transform this rustic desk. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. It's amazing. I love it. It wasn't rolling yet. It's amazing. I love it. No, be for real. It's amazing. I love it. Be like you really would when you see it. Like, ooh, how were you the first time I showed you? Uh, <laughs> I, I watched you guys in style. I know. <laughs>